Hello everyone and welcome to game 2 in a series between Remind versus Reprisal. Game 2 taking place here on Turtle Rock. We see Reprisal spawning as the red human player this time around on the bottom right hand side of the map. Meanwhile on the top left hand side of the map we do see Remind spawning as the blue Night Elf. Night Elf versus human here on Turtle Rock and we'll see what exactly is going to happen as the game does get underway. Cross spawns do make a very big difference in this matchup where players generally have a lot more time to creep and try to level up their heroes as opposed to say close spawns or ally spawns if you want to call it in the 2v2 matchup where human players just generally and can really rush with militia and deal a lot of damage as archers have normal armor and they fall prey and fall victim to peasants or sorry to militia rather quickly. Now, as this game does get underway, we'll see what these strategies will evolve into as we see Remind opening up with an Altar of Elders, obviously getting that Demon Hunter now. We are going to have an Ancient of War also placed down as well as um, apparently someone letting me know that it is going to be a best of five series. So currently a best of five. We'll see what the strategies will come out as as we are going into that Archmage once more. So Archmage versus Demon Hunter. And there is a lot of strategies and a lot of creep patterns that are very, very specific to these particular heroes. Now, and based upon what I see, Archer is going to train up here and then pop out, tank some damage on that Ancient of War. And then as that Ancient of War gets up, it's going to slowly move towards perhaps into this direction. Try to creep out, that, creep out that other creep camp as well. Ancient of War so far getting off one hit. It does deal a lot of damage per attack. 45 to 55 normal damage as the Ancient of War now needs to be repaired and start eating some trees in order to gain up some more hit points. Now going after the Sea Turtle Hatchlings as well, the Demon Hunter pretty much leaving this all alone as the Demon Hunter now making his way out. He does have a Cloak of Shadows as the units are making their way out and we now see that Ancient of War still taking a lot of damage. Back here, the Archmage is creeping away from the rest of those units as we are going to see this Archmage now perhaps go after the Wisp, trying to clear out those green creep camps first. It looks like a Footman. Oh, nope. A detonation does go off just in time. It was the Demon Hunter trying to cut in front of that Archmage. Archmage instead backing off over here. The Water Elemental already much, pretty much down to half timer life the archmage should be able to make its way over drop a water elemental in time and at least allow that water elemental to tank some damage and deal some damage as well so yes already tanking some damage militia now making their way over as we see the demon hunter coming in the demon hunter still hasn't gained any additional experience so far as the water mental oh it does get taken out and the ogre warrior is all that is left it, what's going to happen here is a nice block comes in gloves of haste now used and the demon hunter is surrounded the demon hunter surrounded at that such an early stage in the game remind forced to use a scroll of town portal and reprisal taking a very early advantage knowing that he can pretty much creep on this side of the map now without that much harassment there is a wisp, wisp now down over here where is this archmage going to try to go is the question We'll, we'll see what is going to happen here as apparently people are telling me that re um, Reprisal is actually very good. And I, I knew he was good. I didn't realize he was this good to get a, such an effective surround this early in the game. Archmage now going to drop some water mentals, take on the giant sea turtles. He knows that the timing, the demon hunter is out looking. The moon wells have been replenished or are now starting to be replenished. One giant sea turtle now down. Archmage also has a gauntlet of ogre strength plus three getting in a little bit more hit points, being a little bit more durable, adding 75 hit points there as the battle still continues. It looks like the ar archer may get taken out and no, one more shot and the archer down to six hit points, able to make it away. This water elemental, however, may give some experience to, de to the demon hunter. That's not going to be a good sign here as the water elemental attempting to run away. It looks like the archer now going to try to engage as both sides are fighting back and forth. The demon hunter should be able to get off one more mana burn. There is enough mana to burn here as the archer. Is it going to be able to escape? No, this time no luck there as this archer now backs off once more. So, so far, one archer has been taken down. A scroll of town portal has been burned. As both players now vying for map control in the center as they want to be able to pick up that tavern hero. 
I believe who has the advantage. It looks like Remind should have should have a slight advantage. No, both players about the same. One footman down to 63 hit points. Militia now making their way over, causing another block. Remind unable to get that low hit point footman once more. And now all those units are simply backing off again. Remind looking to try to perhaps hire up that Naga Sea Witch, unable to do so. Naga Sea Witch of Reprisal comes out, and the Cold Arrow has been used, transferring of boots and speed and gloves of haste. Now the pressure is on. Militia now backing off already. That one Demon Hunter still sitting at level 1 is in trouble. Doesn't have another hero to actually resurrect now or try to hear. Or no, he was able to do so with an Archer or a Wisp on the far side as the battle is now going to engage here. It looks as though the Demon Hunter down to 371 hit points. But the Naga Sea Witch over here with no boots of speed now taking a lot of damage. The Naga Sea Witch using that stutter step able to get some easy damage here. Remind now just turning around the corner once more already down to about half life on his hero as the units are going to retreat now we are speed building some arcane sanctums we do have one scout tower that blacksmith for that rifleman so effective and at just being range damage dealing 18 to 24 it looks like that wisp is going to back off as we are now looking to see where the en next engagement will be naga sea witch and Archmage looking to perhaps creep out the far side. There are Wisp off over here. That Wisp looks like it will be able to make its way back out once more. As the units are backing off again. So yes, units are backing off again. As we now see the Demon Hunter going after the Footmen. The Footmen are a little bit too slow. As we now are getting another Rifleman and a low hit point Footman rejoining this fight. The Demon Hunter has to be careful. The Naga Sea Witch doesn't have boots of speed. There we go. There's a mana burn on, I believe, the Naga Sea Witch as the Archmage. Um, actually, either of them could have been mana burn. You guys can rewind if you truly, truly care. But it looks like Reprisal now looking to put pressure with the Footmen, with the Water Elementals. There are going to be a lot of damage to be had. Riflemen are going to be able to devour those Dryads as Dryads are unarmored, taking additional damage. You can see now the Demon are now looking to push in here. The Footmen, Naga Sea Witch just dancing around, able to get off even more damage again. The Ancient of War now taking a lot of damage and now one Footman will get taken out. N Mana Burn, Naga Sea Witch battling up. There is one priest here trying to heal, trying to heal that Naga or heal the Naga. It looks like it will be able to do exactly that, healing every so often. As now the rifleman trying to engage here, Water Elemental still dealing more damage. The Demon Hunter down to 256 hit points, but a double detonation to get some easy kills there. As the Naga Sea Witch now once again may be in trouble, being forced to pull back. The Footmen have done a decent surround though. The Naga Sea Witch. And the cooldown of Staff of Preservation going to be too much. And down goes the Demon Hunter once more. One Priest low on hit points. Looks like it may get focused down. But the Naga Sea Witch now forced to retreat. As the Footmen are now looking to deal damage. You can see now towers are being built by peasants. And the pe what the towers building these peasants now are going to cause really, really um, just a lot of problems. As the Naga Sea Witch unable to engage. More Water Elementals being added. And now that uh, what one tower is... Just perfect as Reprisal attacking with this Rush, Archmage, Naga, Sea Witch, four Riflemen, and very, very well. So, and this is so, so, so powerful as we now see a Lumber Mill and an Arcane Vault being built. This is not bad manner, unlike in StarCraft 2. This is straight up strategy. He wants to build buildings, being able to move home field advantage. Naga, Sea Witch is getting a little bit stuck there. The Naga, Sea Witch still has plenty of mana though as the Demon Hunter may fall again. He does, and there is the game. So Remind losing two straight games to Reprisal in this best of five series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, we'll see what's going to happen in the upcoming games and what the strategies will in fact be.